In this tutorial, I'm going to show you all the options that the Elementor video player has. I'm going to embed both a YouTube and a Vimeo video. I'm going to show you all the ins and outs of doing that, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you're not yet subscribed, consider subscribing because I'm always sharing new tricks, new WordPress tips, tricks, and hacks, and stuff to make your life easier using WordPress. So click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like Elementor, you're going to like this. I'm currently building the Ultimate Elementor course. It's going to be a bargain. There's a link down below to get on the waiting list. So click on that link, get on the waiting list, and you get more details while you're on there. And check out our Facebook group where we chat WordPress, help each other get better at WordPress. Link in the description down below, join that free Facebook group. And with that out of the way, let's get into this Elementor tutorial. I'll see you in the screen capture. To add YouTube and Vimeo videos to an Elementor page is really easy because they have a nice little video widget. If we drag and drop this video widget to where we want it to appear on the page, we choose the type, either YouTube or Vimeo, and you just grab the link from YouTube. Let's do YouTube first. Let's copy that link and paste it right in here. What's nice is that Elementor gives you these video options that you can also configure using the YouTube embed. If you go over to YouTube again, click on share, then click on embed. We have all these options over here. We have a, we get um, a different iframe URL generated as we check options. And Elementor has those built right in. So you can just paste the link of the video in, choose to autoplay or not. I usually choose no. Suggested videos at the end. So when the video ends playing, do you want to see other videos pop up or not? If it's on your site, maybe you don't. So you can choose hide or show. The player controls at the bottom of the video. When the video is playing, we have these controls down here, which is normal, but we can choose to not show them. So now when we play the video, just gotta, gotta let it refresh. Now when we play the video, there are no controls at the bottom. People can still stop it by clicking on it, but they don't have the speed up option, the volume options down there. The title up at the top here, we can choose to not show the title. And at this point, the only thing that's giving away its YouTube video is the YouTube in the corner, but also the play button. So it looks like it's like a really clean version of a YouTube video, which is pretty awesome. You can mute the video if you want by this choosing this option. There's a privacy mode, which makes it so that YouTube does not track data from the video unless they go to the YouTube website, then they track data. But if you choose this on your site, it won't track their data. And you can choose an image overlay, which is basically the thumbnail. So right now I've got this nice thumbnail here. You can choose a different one by clicking on show. You choose an image. Let's just choose a different image from the media library. Let's uh, make this the image. Click on insert media. And now this will be our thumbnail for the video. It's very nice. Uh, you can choose to make it a different size. You can have the play icon appear over top. And that's the default Elementor play icon that it adds. If you turn that off, there won't be a play icon. So there'll be no indication it's actually a video because when you click on it, it actually plays a video. But without the play icon, who knows that? So if you choose to not show the play icon, make sure you have a play icon on your thumbnail. There's also the option for having the video appear in a light box, which is basically a box that pops up and shows the video like this in a light box. And those are the YouTube options. The Vimeo options are very, very similar. If we go back to our widgets here, drag and drop the video player. And now we're gonna have it appear here. We choose Vimeo. We get a URL from Vimeo. Let's just take this one. Gonna paste it in here. And we have very similar options. There's the autoplay option. There's a loop option, which YouTube does not have. And it turns out I can't play this video because of privacy. So I'm just going to undo. I can't undo. I'm just going to, oh, it did undo. So let's use this one as an example. So pretend you pasted in your Vimeo link and you can choose autoplay as an option. And again, loop is not on YouTube or the YouTube option, but it is on the Vimeo option. You can loop YouTube videos using their embed code. You cannot do that right now using the Elementor embed code. You can choose to remove the title, which is the title up here. You can choose to remove, once this refreshes, the portrait, which is in this case the happy face. 
in other cases, uh, a logo of some sort. You can choose to remove the byline, which is this piece right here. And then you can change the color controls. By default, they're light blue on Vimeo. You can choose them to, or you can change them to whatever color you want. Let's make them green. Actually, let's make them this kind of purpley red, pinky red. And then it changes all of the play buttons and such to that red color so you can match it closer to your website's brand. What you cannot do is remove the play bar with Elementor. If you use the Vimeo embed code, you can. That's one of the reasons I use Vimeo for my membership site is I can remove, I don't remove the play bar, but I can remove these options over here. I can remove the play bar if I wanted to with the Vimeo embed, but I don't for the membership. But you can basically have just a totally clean video on your site using Vimeo and it's very protected compared to YouTube where all the videos are basically accessible to the world. Either way, you can't remove the play bar with the Elementor embed. You can add an image overlay just as before. And it's the same options. So I'm not going to go through them again. But you add the image. You may choose the size. You can add a play icon or not. And have the video open in a light box or not. And that is how you embed video on your Elementor pages. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, get on the Elementor waiting list. Get on the Facebook page and hit subscribe so you don't miss anything, click the bell icon. And next up is clicking one of the videos on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.